All right, well, welcome to another quick episode of Today I Work On, and today I'm gonna work on my popcorn maker. Now, this is an old Midway six ounce popcorn maker with the stand, and we have all the popcorn in there. It's super easy to clean. Do the first thing, do not use chemicals. A while back, someone we know was trying to help and they used, I think, orange glow or something in our popcorn machine and ruined it. So do not use any chemicals. I'm gonna show you right now the easiest way to clean your popcorn machine. Step one, turn on your kettle. This heat, the kettle means heat, okay? You don't have to turn the stir on, just turn on the kettle and let it heat up. I also turn the light on because it does heat up the rest of the machine. Now, right now, as you see, this popcorn machine is dirty, okay? If you look inside, you can see it is black on the bottom and it's just, it's nasty. So usually what I used to do is I used to unscrew the whole machine. I used to take out the pot and it was, it used to take me 30 minutes and it was a pain to clean. And then a light bulb clicked in my head on how to clean all this super easy. So let's wait a few minutes and we'll come back to how simple it is to clean this popcorn machine. It's been about five minutes since I turned on the kettle and the light and we have smoke. See that? It's hot. It is smoking hot. Now, this is all you have to do. You ready? Some water. Steam is your friend. Steam cleans everything really well. And it's way better than chemical. And you don't have to take any of this apart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in a little bit of water and then the whole unit's gonna get steam. So watch what happens. I turn on the stirrer and just let that work. And you're gonna see what happens. Remember, let that work for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, so it's been about a minute. And remember when all that was black, now you see it's clear, it's clean. You can see the metal. So the next step is I start throwing paper towels in there. I'm gonna shut off the kettle now because I don't need it hot anymore. And I'm gonna let the heat still do its work while it's still steaming and then I'm gonna throw in the paper towels and it's gonna clean the whole inside so let me let me throw that in right now I'm gonna throw in like another few paper towels but that's that'll clean the inside. while that is now there was it got all nice and hot you can see there's a little bit of steam up top here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning all the windows because the heat and the steam loosens up all the cruddiness around the windows. So let me start working on that. clean there's a couple of little spots but look it's down basically to metal what I'm gonna do is I usually throw in a second batch of water so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna turn the kettle back on I'm gonna shut the stirrer off and then I'm gonna heat up one more time and then the second shot of water usually seals the deal and there's nothing left to clean second batch I'm only using about four ounces so Kettle cleaner, please. No kettle cleaner. I've never used it. We've owned this for three years, three years, four years, four. No. four years, and it still looks brand new, basically. So this thing, this kettle's been on. I'm gonna drop about another three, four ounces of water in there. All right, I'm just gonna let it work, and we'll see. It's gonna 
everything in there is going to disappear. This time I'm going to leave the, the heat on because I want the water to kind of dissipate a little bit. The first time I don't, the second time I do. I'm not going to put any paper towels in there. So let it, let it do its thing. And uh, like you can look in there. It's, you can see all that steam. You see right here? Look at all this. This way. You see how it's all nice and steamy? That's exactly what you want. And that's all you need to clean anything. I don't know that kettle cleaner, what it is exactly. I think it's kind of a gimmick um, because steam cleans everything. And it actually disinfects, not disinfects, it, uh, it sanitizes. Because the steam gets so hot, it just makes everything nice and clean. So you can hear it, it's starting to, see what's going on? So let it, let it, let it work. All right, so we are 99% clean now. I'm gonna clean around the rim, it's super easy. And I'm gonna throw in the paper towels in there, let it clean out all that griminess. I don't know if you can see it. See, this, look at all, look how dirty that water is. That's amazing. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the paper towels and I'll clean the rest of this out. I already threw two in, I'm gonna throw in two more. All right, that's it. So all this is gonna cost you is about, 10 paper towels in total. I'll clean that out now. I'll scoop it out with the scooper. We are clean, clean, clean. We are clean, super clean. You wanna check it out? Look at that, down to the metal. The sides are clean, top is clean, the bottom's clean. And all I used was water with the steam and about 10 paper towels. It took me about 10 minutes to do Took me a little bit longer filming, but you're not going to film, obviously. And that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. If you like the video on how I clean my popcorn machine, like the video. I would also appreciate it. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.